Hello everyone, and welcome back to part 4 of our real-time notification system tutorial. I am thrilled to have you here as we bring this project to life. In part 3, we saved comments to our MySQL database and set up broadcasting. Today, we will send those comments as notifications to all connected users and show them on a web page in real time. Now let's us start by updating server.php file for send notification. So here, we have open server.php file in code editor. And under this file, first we have create function with name like private function, send notification with argument like connection interface. This creates a private function called send notifications that takes a connection as an argument. Inside this function, we are typing dollar statement variable is equal to dollar this with PDO object with query method. And under this, we have to type select star from comments table order by comment ID in descending order with limit 5. This runs a query to get the latest 5 comments from our comments table which has been sorted by comment ID in descending order. Next, we are typing dollar notifications variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method. And in argument, we have to write PDO class with fetch associative method. This code will fetch comment data and stores under dollar notifications variable in an associative array format. Now, we have typing dollar response variable is equal to an array. This starts an array called dollar response variable to hold the data and we will send. Inside this, we have to type dollar type as key and in value, we have to write notification text. After this this, we have typing notifications as key and in value, we have to write dollar notification variable. So this adds our dollar notifications variable array data to response. Now we have typing dollar connect variable with send method and under this we have to write php json encode function and in argument we have to write dollar response variable. This turns the dollar response array into a json string and sends it to the connected user. This function is ready to send the latest comments to all connected user. Now we have goes into broadcast notifications function and under this we have goes into for each loop. And inside this we have call dollar this variable with send notification function with dollar client variable as argument. This means every connected user will get the latest comments whenever we broadcast them. After this we have goes into on open method which will call when new connection has been established. And under this function we have write dollar this with send notification function with dollar connection variable as argument. So it will send notification to new user who has connected with this server. So now we have saving this file and our server is now set to notify everyone. Next let us create a new file to show these notifications on the web page. So here in code editor, we have create a new file called notification.php in our working directory. Under this file, first we have paste this HTML code for set basic HTML web page. Then after, we have create one division tag with class is equal to drop down for create drop down for notification. Inside this, we have create one button tag with class is equal to button, button primary and drop down toggle. After this, we have to write type attribute is equal to button and id attribute is equal to notification drop down. After this, we have to write Data BS toggle attribute is equal to drop down. 
and area expanded attribute is equal to false, so this code will make a blue button that opens a drop down when we have clicked. Inside the button, we have type notification text with span tag with ID attribute is equal to 100 count. And class attribute is equal to badge and background danger with text zero. This adds the word notifications and a red badge showing zero hundred items. Next we are create one unorder list tag with class attribute is equal to drop down menu and drop down menu end. And after this we have to write ID attribute is equal to notification list. This creates a drop down menu aligned to the right with an ID of notification list. Inside this tag, we have create list tag, and between this, we have create one anchor tag. And here, we have to write class attribute is equal to drop down item and text center. And in anchor text, we have to write no new notification. So this adds a default message when there are no new notifications. So here, our HTML code is ready. Now we have add JavaScript code. So here, we have to write open and close script tag for write JavaScript code. And under this, we have to type connection variable is equal to new WebSocket method. And under this, we have to write ws double colon slash slash localhost double colon 8080. So this creates a variable called connection and links it to port 8080. Below this, we have to type connection dot on open is equal to callback function. So this function will be called when then connection is opens. Under this, we have to write console.log with message like WebSocket connected, so it will print a message in the browser console. Next we have to create connection.on message is equal to callback function with event variable as argument, so this function will handle incoming messages. Under this function, we have to write data variable is equal to json.parse function. And under this function, we have to write event.data variable, it will turn the message into usable object. After this, we have to write if statement, and under condition, we have to write data.type variable value is equal to notification. So this condition will check if the message is a notification. Under this function, we have called update notification drop down function with data dot notification as argument. Now we have create update notification drop down function with notification variable as argument. Under this function, we have to write notification variable is equal to document dot get element by id method. And under this, we have to write button ID notification drop down, so it will get the drop down list. Next, we have to write unread badge variable is equal to document dot get element by ID method. And under this, we have to write span tag ID unread count, so it will get the unread count badge. After this, we have to write Notification list dot in the HTML property is equal to blank value, so it will clear the current list. Now below this, we have to write if statement, and under condition, we have to write notifications dot length value is equal to zero. So this condition will check if there are no notification, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block. We have to write 
notification list variable dot in the HTML property is equal to open and close list tag and between this we have to write anchor tag with class is equal to drop down item and text center and in anchor text we have to write now new notifications this sets the list back to the default message after this we have to write unread badge variable dot style dot display property is equal to none so it will hide badge from web page below this we have to write return statement which will exit function early but suppose notifications length is greater than zero then it will execute other code so here first we have type count variable is equal to zero for start counting unread notification from zero next for fetch notification messages so we have to write notifications dot for each method with callback function with notification variable as argument under this function we have to write li variable is equal to document dot create element function and under this we have write list tag and it will create new list item after this we have to write a variable is equal to document dot create element function and under this we have to write anchor tag so it will create link inside it next we have to write a dot class name is equal to drop down item so it will add this class into this tag after this we have to write a dot href property is equal to hash character which will make a dummy link now we have type a variable dot in the html variable is equal to open and close strong tag and between this we have to write notifications variable dot comment subject variable so it will set the link text to show the subject in bold and the comment after it next we have to write if statement and in condition we have to write notification dot comment status variable value is equal to zero so this condition will check if the comment is unread and if this condition true then it will execute if block of code under this block we have to write a dot style dot font weight property is equal to bold so it will make unread comments bold after this we have to write count variable and it value increment by one so it will increase unread count next we have to write unread badge variable dot text content property is equal to count variable so it will update the badge with the unread count after this we have to write unread badge variable dot style dot display property is equal to count variable value is greater zero then it will set inline property otherwise it will be set none property now we have saving this file and our front end code is ready let us test this to see real time notifications in action now we have goes to command prompt and here we have already comes inside our working directory and after this we have run php server dot php file which will start web socket server now here we have open to browser window in one window we have open at comment dot php file and in second window we have open notification dot php file so here in notification dot php file window we can see that there is one notification is receive which we can see in here so we have click on button so here we can see one notification now here in at comment dot php file window we can see subject and comment area so here we have filled both input field and after this we have click on post comment button so here we can see 
comment added message has been pop up, and form field value has been clear. And in another window, we can see that, notification count has been increased from 1 to 2. So here, we have click button, so we can see that, new notification has been received in real time. So in this part, we have learned, how to send notification from the server, and display them live on, our web page. And here, notification has been sent in real time, without refreshing of web page, by using WebSocket. In next part, we will show you, how to add read message feature, under this real time notification system. If you loved this, please like and subscribe for more tutorials.